Welcome to this fine and dandy video I got here. So, <clears throat> just a quick layout tour of what I've got so far. Um, I need to put one thing somewhere I haven't really decided yet. Oh, well, that's right there and I like it. So this is a new little kind of interesting little switch tower here. So I got this today at this Whistle Stop Trains in Oklahoma City. Plasticville, this is a Bachman Plasticville, or not Bachman. I'm not sure what it is. I uh, thought it was Bachman, but it's a Plasticville USA sets. And, which I've got the downtown here finished, almost. Got some houses over there, and I got a sand tower and a caboose. Uh, industry, a grain elevator. Coing Tower, a church, and this little um, Brownies Northside service, a little service station. Fun fact, um, turns out it used to be one of the co-owners of Broadway Limited. And if you can get down in there and see how much detail there is with these old cars and stuff. Okay, now I've got these old two-story buildings, which this one's a three-story. I don't really like the look of them. There's some houses over here. And over here, I'm not sure what I'm going to name this. Um, that's Copperton, Colorado. And this is, I'm not entirely sure, Rhodes, um, <clears throat> Rhodes, maybe, I'm not entirely sure, Winniewood, <laughs> Town from my Oklahoma area that the Santa Fe used to run through. Um, here, Gunner's Curve. This is not going to be right here. Um, this oil rig or pump jack or whatever you call them. Um, you got the water tank here. The little um, shed with the power logs, the based off a DNR GW phone booth. And then up over there, that's where the oil rig will probably be placed. This is the Mo siding or a, I'm not entirely sure what it's said on yet, Mo or local industry. I want to do more local industry. And that right there, that general store, I just got that today too. And also, so, I've got a Challenger that was right here, but it's gone and nowhere to be seen. And the reason why is I'm getting it DCC installed. It was just standard DC, but I'm going to get it DCC installed. Also, I've just noticed how cool this old photo I've got here is. So this is the Frisco Meteor, number 147. And this was a, uh, I'm not sure what it was, but it was a newspaper article from 1904. And it says, 1904 Frisco Meteor steams up in Oklahoma City. Now that's at the OKC Depot, which is now that elevated one if you've been there before. But look at that old 440, or what I can tell to be a 440. And then here's another picture that I've got. It's a... ATSF 5000 class, 210 Ford, Texas. And then over here, I got the Cumbres Toltec. And then here's this little cool card of whistle stop trains. And that's where they are. I recommend you go there, but I'm not sponsored and I don't care. I really like them. So, back there is the yard. And the grain elevator and the church and everything. Also, this here is going to stay. This water tower is going to stay. Everything, it might be set. Or it's mostly set. Just the names aren't set. So I got this little UP-060 on display. Um, and that's the only locomotive I've got on display here. And then you've got um, 158 and 78 back there. And then you got up here 1159. With a Santa Fe passenger train. Um, oh yeah. Right here 
is this cool railroad crossing sign that I've got that I wanted to hang up, but I haven't had time. And also there's my banjo and my mandolin. So crossing railroad. And I think I'll put it up right there, right over there. So yeah, there's that um, 12.23 appear my pet. And then here's the station, the old Santa Fe station at Winnie Wood. Uh, illustration not by me, but I'm not sure who that is. Thomas Dillard, 1978. That's a long time ago. Well, and up here on the mountain, got some folk camping. Got all their stuff in a little stream. And I don't know why he's here. He's probably going on a hike or something like that. You gotta put imagination into it. And then there's a fancy tree, some other trees, some pines, more pines. And then this tunnel portal with that. And that's the tunnel. And, well, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and have a great week.